Hello, Brenton with All Octane here. And in this video, we are replacing, or more so, fixing a broken headlight on my 2007 Buick LaCrosse. A few weeks ago, my wife was in an accident. Thankfully, she is A-OK. -okay. It was just some cosmetic damage here. The car will be going into the body shop in a few weeks, but she actually became friends with the person that was involved in the accident. But as you can see, the damage is that there is a busted headlight. Now, the other day, I did go and I got a brand new headlight and I realized that that worked in terms of the bulb was broke. So now that I have a new bulb, the bulb is working, but we need to make it a little bit brighter so it's a little bit more visible at night. That means I gotta get the car into a workable position, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so here you can see some of the more up close damage. I have a brand new bulb, which is great. That is working. And I duct taped it to the socket here, but it's not holding in too well. I actually have some old pieces and parts that I'm gonna use, as well as a mirror that I purchased from TJ Maxx that I'm gonna try to see if I can use to make this a whole lot better. Now, as I said, it is going into the body shop here in a couple of weeks. So I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on the fix. All I really need to do is make sure that it works and that it doesn't really like, be that noticeable to get pulled over. So let's head into my storage unit and I'll show you what's going on. So our apartment comes with this awesome storage unit. It is a little messy, but it is organized chaos at the moment. As you can see, I've got the old original headlight socket. Now, this is actually a pretty important piece because I realized without this, the headlight just kind of tosses light into nowhere. Um, so I actually can put the headlight into the old socket. And as you can see, the old bulb is right here. It will fit into that. So the new one will also fit and I will tighten that down. It just like it should be, but then I'll take some of this reflective duct tape and clear gorilla tape and basically make an entire new headlight out of these particular things. So here's the mirror I purchased. It is a makeup mirror from Marshalls. I spent seven bucks on it. The original mirror that I bought was a uh, mirror that you stick on your side mirrors to you know give you a broader range of view, but. I decided to try to drill a hole in that. I don't really know why I decided to do that. I thought it was plastic. It's not, it's like glass or ceramic or something. And it broke, it shattered everywhere. So I uh, spent four bucks on that. I spent seven on this. I'm at 11 plus some tape. I think I'm in this like 20 bucks and I'm hoping it'll be a pretty good fix. So let's get to work. Now I'm gonna apologize in advance for any of the wind background noise. I am gonna put some gloves on too because this stuff is sharp. I don't wanna get cut. That's the last thing I wanna do today. Uh, I don't wanna fix myself. I'd much prefer to fix the car. My wife did get me some really awesome microphones for Valentine's Day and I'm just waiting on a small adapter and this vlogging stuff is about to be take, taken to a whole new level because I'll have a much better audio at that point. So um, yeah, when those adapters come in, this vlogging stuff will be great. I'll be able to have you guys way over there and still talking to you and you'll me, hear me closer clear. But uh, until that point, I'm gonna be close by here and we're gonna try to get some of these pieces out. I've got, uh, I keep finding pieces. Uh, I think it'll be okay down there. I think I probably should take some of this stuff. Oh well, yeah, that's in that socket there. Oh, I could probably tape that. We'll see how this goes. All right, so that's the new bulb. And I think I want to take this new mirror. Gotta take the sticker off of it. I don't want to get it too greasy with my fingers. That wouldn't be very fun. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's gonna probably get a little messy anyway. And honestly, it's not that bad if it's clouded up because 
this might be really, really bright. I don't want it super bright. I don't want to get pulled over thinking I have my high beams on. That would not be good. All right, so let's see if we can take some duct tape. Actually, I got to take gloves off to do duct tape, don't I? Now let's pull this out. That held pretty well. As long as it's not on the socket, I can put it on the bulb. The bulb doesn't matter because the bulb can be replaced. Aha, I learned that. Not bad, that fit right in that socket. That's amazing. Okay. It's angled a little up, but yeah, see I'm already kinda kinda cutting myself. Alright, let's see if this will fit in there and then let's start duct taping. Let's start being an artist of duct tape. Alright, that fits. I know this is technically supposed to go on the bottom, but let's see if I can get that. I don't know. All right. Put it down there. There we go. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll we'll put some duct tape up there. So my neighbors came out while I was fixing it and now that they're gone, I can show you my fix. Check this out. Ta-da! Not too bad, right? So I put the ball back in the original bracket. I covered it with some Gorilla Tape here. I can still actually adjust the angle of the light and the height of the light by down here. So I can reach this and angle it and adjust it if need be, depending if it is uh, too far left, too far right, up or down. So I am actually really excited. This is very, very good. And here is to just give you an idea of what it's like. So it is way brighter now than what it used to be with just the bulb. I'm sorry I don't really have a before, during, or after. You notice if I've bent down just a little bit, this is where it hits the brightest. It is a little still brighter than the bulb over here on the left. However, I can probably adjust that just a smidge, or I can also put some, uh, more uh less opaque tape that's what it is more less opaque tape um over it to kind of murky it up a little bit technically that headlight needs to be cleaned so uh that's why it's a little more murky than that one but overall not too bad i'm excited tonight to ch check it out and see how it works all right it's nighttime the moment of truth i'm gonna see what it does when i turn the lights on okay here we go Turning on the lights. And the right one is still brighter. But the left one is definitely brighter than what it was. So that's good. At least I've got two headlights. Then again, I might not be able to see the focused left headlight because the tree might be absorbing it. It's amazing because outside the left looks a lot brighter than the right. Let's go take a look. So I know you guys can't see the difference, at least not too well on camera. The right one is a little offset, but it definitely casts a beam. And then from outside of the car, we have that. So I don't think that's actually too bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, quite the success. I'm pretty happy with how I was able to fix that headlight. At least it works, and at least now we can drive at night responsibly i still have turn signals and at least we won't be getting pulled over too bad for having a 
a headlight out or at least not reflective enough. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna to try to make some more videos. Again, I have more microphones that I might be using soon and I just hope to have more automotive adventures, hopefully. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and until the next one, have a good one.